Making a moon in Blender starts with a cube. This cube needs to be taken into edit mode where we can select all the geometry and subdivide it by 10, then increase the smoothness to one. This way we do not get the same artifacting that happens when we do it to a UV sphere instead. Now we can add our material. To start, we will first create small craters. This will be made up of a texture coordinate and from its object output, we will plug it into a noise and Voronoi texture of which they will have their own color ramp. The Voronoi texture from its default values will need to be set to smooth F1, Euclidean, and to change the values as followed. Scale is 7.6, detail is 0.3, the Voronoi color ramp will have a black slider at 0.159 and a white slider at 0.4 and is set to linear. The noise texture value changes are as followed, detail to 6.1. The noise color ramp has a black slider at position 0.464 and the white slider is 0.545 and is also set to linear. Now both of these color ramps will be plugged into the A and B input of a mixed color set to lighten, making sure the factor is set to 1. This can then be plugged into a bump node with a strength for 0.22. Next we want to create the larger craters, which begins with a texture coordinate again. And from the generated output, we want to plug it into a noise texture, which values are changed to scale 52.7, detail 15, roughness 0.533. The object output of the texture coordinate will be plugged into the A input of a mixed color node and the noise texture will be plugged into the B node. This mix node will be plugged into the separate Voronoi textures, both set to smooth F1, the only difference being the scale on both. The scale for the first one is 0.5 and the second at 2. Both are plugged into color ramps set to linear, the black slider at 0.168, the white slider at 0.236, and a light gray slider set to 0.284. This light gray has a value of 0.5. These are then plugged into the A and B input of a mixed color node set to add. This is then plugged into a bump node with a strength for 0.2. The previous bump node will be plugged into the normal part of this one. Next, we want to add general detail to the moon. And so we begin by adding a texture coordinate. That's object output is plugged into both a noise texture and the A input of a mixed color node. The noise texture should be then changed so that the scale is 3.9, detail at 15, roughness at 0.7. The noise texture is then plugged into the B input of the mixed color node that has a factor of 0.792. Then from the output, this will be plugged into two separate Voronoi textures set to smooth F1, Euclidean, and both with detail at zero and roughness at 0.5. This will be then plugged into a mixed color node set to darken and a factor of one. The scale of the first is set to 31.6 and the second is set to 12.1. This is then plugged into a bump node with the strength set 0.31 and the previous bump node plugged into the normal input. The mountain bridges consist of a texture coordinate that from the object output is plugged into a noise texture set to scale 0.2, detail 15. This is then plugged into a Voronoi texture set to F1, Minkowski, scale 0.6. This is then plugged into a math node set to hyperbolic tangent. This is plugged into another bump node, and as before, the previous bump node will be plugged into the normal, this time leaving the bump node strength at 1 and ticking invert. The final part of the bump nodes will be the dark spots. This starts with a texture coordinate from the generated output. It will be plugged into a mapping node with the scale X, Y, and Z set to 2, and then plugged into a Musgrave texture. The Musgrave texture is then set to rigid multifracture with a scale of 1.2, detail 15, dimension 0.4, gain 115. Then plug this into a color ramp set to ease with the white slider set at 0.1 and the black slider set to 0.55. Then plug it into another color ramp set to B spline with a black slider at 0 and a dark gray set to 0.559. The value of this gray is 0.078. Then plug that into a bump node that is left at strength 1 and has the previous bump plugged into the normal. This can then finally be plugged into the normal of the principal BSDF. Now we can move on to the color. We will be drawing from the bump nodes we added, so I will make you aware of this when it is done so you can simply go back and duplicate the earlier nodes to make this much quicker and as you have noticed I've put them in frames to make this easier to recognize. The base color will start with a texture coordinate that is plugged into a noise texture set to scale 0.1 detail at 15 and then plugged into a musgrave set to multifactorial scale at 0.8 detail at 11.3. This then plugged into a color ramp set to B spline. The first slider is at position 0.627 with the color value set at 0.729. 
The second slider is at position 0.805 with the color value set to 0.404. Final slider is set to position one with the color value at 0.231. Then this color ramp is plugged into two mix nodes. It is plugged into the B input of the first one and the A input of the second. The first mix color node is plugged into the B input of the second and the second mix node is set to value and factor one. The A value of the first mix node has a color value of 0.691. Then the nodes plugged into the factor can be copied from the mountain ridges we added earlier with no changes to any of the values. The dark spots can be duplicated from earlier as well and should be kept the same and then plugged into the factor of a mixed color node set to value. The base color should then be plugged into the B input and the A input should have a color value of 0.152. Now for the white dust that can be seen on the moon, a texture coordinate should be added with the object output being plugged into a Voronoi and noise texture and the generated output should be plugged into a Musgrave texture, all of which should be plugged into their own color ramp set to linear. The Voronoi texture values are set to scale 7.4, detail 0.3. The noise detail is set to 6.1 and the Musgrave texture scale is set to 3.1, detail 15. The Voronoi color has a black slider at position 0.159 and white slider at position 0.4. The noise color ramp has a black slider at position 0.464 and a white slider at position 0.545. The Musgrave color ramp black slider is set at position 0, the white slider is set at position 0.082. The color ramp for both the Voronoi and the noise will be plugged into the mixed color node set to lighten and a factor of 1. This is then plugged into a mixed color node that is left on its default value with the Musgrave color ramp plugged into the B input. Next, add two math nodes with the first set to multiply and the second at power. The multiply math node has a value of 10 and the exponent of the power node is 2. This math node shall be plugged into the factor of another mixed color node with the mixed color node from the dark spots plugged into input B. The A input should have a color value of 0.437. The last layer of white dust is comprised of another texture corner plugged from the generated output into a Musgrave texture set to multifractural. Scale 8.1, detail 8.8 .8, and dimension 0. This is then to be plugged into a color ramp with a white slider at position 0 and a black slider at 0 0.164. Then this needs to be put into the factor of a mixed color ramp. The previous mixed color will go into the A input and the B input color will have a value of 0.371. Finally, this can be put into the base color of the principal BSDF. Now make sure you've saved this before you experiment with changing the values to customize as you wish, and do note this can be made more streamlined if you wish. Consider subscribing and liking if you found the video useful, and now go create something awesome.